chronic fatigue can be a symptom that follows many illnesses. It can be an illness on its own, and there may not be a recognizable cause, but it can also be something that is part of another disease process. We see chronic fatigue a lot in our Lyme disease patients. Uh, chronic Epstein-Barr virus is something that's also known to cause chronic fatigue. We see it in post-COVID patients and, and a number of other things as well. One of the thought processes behind what causes chronic fatigue is mitochondrial dysfunction and mitochondrial injury as a result of some of these illnesses. Mitochondria are the part in our body that creates energy. ATP is the uh, the chemical of formulation for energy in our body, basically, and mitochondria where, is where that's made. If the mitochondria are not able to do what they need to do due to being injured or otherwise not working to their to their full ability, then that's going to be a part of our of our fatigue, and it's going to be part of why people aren't feeling better. So there was a study that was done in regard to a specific treatment, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit today. The, the study that was done involved using some of the building blocks, the things that we know can help in the production of energy and also in the restoration of mitochondrial function. It used three different supplements along with a medication, so more of an integrative approach. The supplements that were used were N-acetylcysteine, alpha-lipoic acid, and acetyl L-carnitine, and they were used in a very specific uh, dosage. They were also used in combination with a medication called methylphenidate, which is also known as Ritalin. So from a, a holistic standpoint, that's not a very exciting uh, study because of that particular medication, but there are some thoughts as well that it may simply be that there needs to be some sort of stimulant involved in order to help with this, this chronic fatigue. And there also can be thoughts that maybe the supplements alone, but the study specifically used this methylphenidate. In the study, what they found was that after about 30 days of administration of this particular regimen, they found that there was a, a, an increase in energy, a decrease in fatigue with a lot of these patients and a vast majority of these patients after about 30 days or so. So it's really kind of an interesting study here. This is something that, that you know, we can certainly address with, uh, with functional medicine. Uh, this is something that I think that we also can look at for our Lyme disease patients here because Lyme causes fatigue. And it's, there's a lot of factors that go invo are involved with that, including chronic infection, autoimmune dysfunction, inflammation, and, and mitochondrial dysfunction can certainly be one of those as well. Those supplements are also known to do a number of other things. For instance, acetyl L-carnitine is neuroregenerative and neuroprotective. So if there are nerve issues, that can be good for that. So it's not like they're just doing that one thing. And the mechanism is as to exactly why these seem to be helpful is, is not completely understood. So there probably are multiple things that these supplements are doing. To address the, the riddling component of this study, there, there are certainly some thoughts, and the, and the individual who actually put together this study uh, kind of postulates that, again, there may be some other stimulants that can be used that are either more natural or just different and maybe not so uh, controversial as something like Ritalin. For instance, green tea extract. Uh, could that be enough of a stimulant to have the same effect? So there's a lot of things that we still don't know about this, but what we do know is that from this study, this, these particular supplements and medication together helped fatigue. And if you can have more energy, you can do more, you can exercise, you can do some of the other things that are going to help with your overall health and well-being and healing. So conquering fatigue is one of those things, and these particular supplements and medication can be a help. And if this is something that uh, you're suffering with or something that you know of someone that's suffering with, this is some great information to share and something to consider.